2018 team in 2019, you ended up at the Gold Coast Titans. Um, mm. How did that come about? I, I, I messaged uh, Garth Brennan, who uh, was my New South Wales, uh, my New South Wales Cup coach. Uh, he was an assistant coach to Anthony Griffin. We were really close, me and Garth. Um, he actually was an assistant coach to me when I was 18 uh, in my first New South Wales Blues camp that I played in. Um, so that's how me and Garth were really tight-knit. So when it came about that he became the Titans coach, uh, I just got to say goodnight to my son. Uh, yeah, go for it, man. Go for it. <laughs> Good night. 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 Um, and I, I simply just messaged him. Uh, I said, "Oh, congrats! Congrats on the on the coaching gig. You know, no one, no one, no one deserves this more than you." And he just replied back with, "Oh, I've got a spot." for you up here um and then that was it really me and my wife sort of had to just sit down and think about it at the time because uh she was pregnant at the time and um yeah that's that that's how it came about to me moving up to the gold coast it seemed like a, cu a tough couple of years for them. Obviously, they finished 14th and actually 16th, respectively. And you only managed nine games in, in the two years, mate. What, what happened there? Was there injury again? I, 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 so I rocked up to the Gold Coast thinking that things were going to be handed to me. And that was the honest thing that I, that I told. That's the honest thing that I've told everyone who said that I went up there and I, and I wasted my time. And I did. To a certain degree, I wasted my time. I wasted my wife's time. Um, but I, I, I waltzed into the Gold Coast thinking that everything was going to be handed to me because of the success that I had at Penrith. And after three or four games, um, my coach axed me. And then that, that was it, really. I, I was never to be heard of. And that first year really rattled me because I didn't know how to deal with things, didn't know how to bounce back from from the criticism he was giving me. Uh, also juggling um, my, my, uh, my son being born. Um, it was just a lot of things that, that I didn't know how to take control of and it just showed that I went missing that whole year. The next year, my my coach um, gave me a lot of a lot of things to improve on in the year, and by that by that next year, at the start of the year, I knew that uh, he wasn't going to play me at all. And so my mindset at the time was, I'm not going to. I'm not going to sit here and sulk. I'm going to try and invest my my time uh, and my body into the second grade club. So the team that he had put me in was Tweed Seagulls, and that team that team really helped me from the CEO uh, all the way down to the 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 water boy. Like literally, they all helped me fall back in love with footy. Didn't matter if Titans weren't picking me; they just helped me find my love again for football. Otherwise, I would have just retired after the Gold Coast gig. So, what brought you over here, mate? Obviously, the start of this season, it's, it's been—I mean, it's been a bit of a disaster for for a bit yeah. spot in general with COVID, mate. But what brought you to Warrington? My well, my um, my manager originally said to me, "Look, Wigan, Wigan really wants you." Um, and I said, man, I, I said, I'm not, I'm not ready to go over to England yet. <laughs> uh, and then basically, basically it was just trying to just scope it out and see like 
what's going to happen here at the Gold Coast. And uh, Justin Holbrook took the reins. Um, and then leading into Christmas, he said to me, he had an open conversation with me and just said, look, we can't, uh, we can't play uh, uh, over here. Um, by all reports, we think, he thinks that I'll do well in the Super League um, and that he gave me my blessings to go look elsewhere. And when that happened, then Warrington sort of just fell into place. Uh, I, I had offers from Wigan, Wakefield uh, and Leeds. And so for my mindset, it was... Uh, where's the closest church that I can go to? And on top of that, uh, at each team, I sort of uh, scoped out the guys that I knew there to make my transition a bit easier. And it was all going to lead, it was all going to go either to Wakey or Leeds. And preferably my manager was, was making me trying to go to Leeds. Um, and then right at the end, Warrington came in. And then I sort of just put two and two. And I said, well, Sidalecki's there and, and Benny and Benny murdoch Masilla. And so I got on real close with, with both of them uh, when I, back in my Penrith days. So I just said, all right, Warrington it is. Yeah. Me, me and Joss are two Wakefield fans, mate. So if you ever want to link up with Big Dave for Peter again. <laughs> So if you ever want to link up with Big Dave for theatre again, we'd be more than happy to have you, mate. Yeah. Um, how have you found this season? Obviously, it's been upside down, hasn't it? But you, you, like you say, you've managed three games so far, all coming last yeah. month. Um, yeah. Have you settled in? Pardon? Have you settled in? Yeah, settled in. Settled in now. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been a crazy ride, just with COVID and the lockdown and everything. But apart from that... Uh, I've learned a lot, especially from um, some of the some of the older older boys in this team. Um, Mike Cooper, Chris Hill, Ratchford, um, even Gaz, really, um, even um, uh, Oslo, uh, Blake Austin, and Daryl Clark. Like just seeing how they uh, in and Jack Hughes um, as well. Just some of these old boys who. Well, Jack is, he's going to kill me as well. He's <laughs> not really old, eh? Um, but they, they, they're looked at as the leaders of our group. Um, especially, it's, it's really interesting just listening to them uh, in team video. Um, uh, over the years, I've been, I've been uh, fortunate to be present to a lot of great minds in the rugby league world. And, you know, coming over here to England, it... Uh, it's interesting to see how how their minds work, especially how they look at rugby league. Um, and then on top of that, you know, we've got uh, uh, Lee um, Lee uh, uh, Breezy, um, who's who looks after us uh, on the attacking side, and just seeing how his mind works. It's it's really interesting. It's just been. Uh, a massive blast just being over here in England and just learning. Um, playing wise, you know, I, I, I'd love to play. You know, I always, I'm always knocking on my coach's door, saying, uh, "What can I improve on? What's the most that I what what like why aren't I playing?" But that's every other player who wants to play. You know, they, they got to try and improve in order to get picked. So. Yeah, it's been a turmoil season, but um, yeah, we're finally, finally, almost on the last legs. Just yeah, hoping, hoping that we can stick it out <laughs> for whatever happens next with the COVID. Yeah, man. What's your aspirations now? Are you wanting to to stick it out in RL for a lot, a couple of years? Or have you got another career path in mind afterwards? Uh, I want to, I want to stick it out over here, um, but ultimately. Um, I, I, I want to do something uh, regarding like my like maybe even trying to go back to doing my primary school teaching degree um, or 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 
or just doing something regarding youth. Um, my 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 biggest, uh, I suppose, my biggest draw in life has always been uh, helping kids. Um, so, if I can do something in that area after I retire, then then I'll I'll be loving life then. Um, but more so, really, like. Anything that's that doesn't relate to football, that doesn't relate to rugby, I'll be happy with after I retire. <laughs> Excellent. I mean, it's, it's been a true honour to have you on, mate. You're such an humble and, and, and gratuitous bloke. I mean, you played for Penrith Panthers, Gold Coast Titans over there. You've had more than 50 games in the NRL. You played for Tonga. You played for City. You've had three Indigenous All Star game appearances, and now you're, you're doing well at Warrington Wolves, and obviously pushing on for a potential playoff spot and. and potentially a grand final game as well mate and thank you so much for coming on and, and we'll yeah. keep it out for you down the road mate yeah thank you heaps thank you heaps for having me appreciate it heaps no worries man cheers Joss my name is Jamie Robinson cheers, we'll catch you all down the road thank you very much Alana cheers bro